The great milestone in, in psychiatry was in 1971 when the college received its Royal Charter and then it became a specialty in its own right and it was a truly important moment. And it was a very, very important uh, development, the purchase of an elegant Georgian building in a really prestigious part of London. It was confident, it expressed that it was, psychiatry was part of the establishment and the Georgian townhouse was fine. It turned out to be an exciting time, particularly for a very junior officer like myself and for the new officers and for uh, the new council because there had been a fairly clean sweep uh, at the time of the elections to the new college and that was because of an insurrection in effect by junior doctors training in psychiatry who were afraid that this was going to be a college modelled on older colleges which would have an expensive exam which would be difficult to pass and that they'd just used the money to buy a uh, port for the examiners. And so all those who got elected were sort of rather keen missionaries with a great zeal to do good and sort of, and particularly take on uh, the whole business of training of psychiatrists. So I, I think it, it, was, it was a very sort of exciting time really because there were a lot of enthusiasts. But in those days we had 25 staff and we really focused on our, our core activities. Now we have 200 staff and many, many new initiatives. And it has become apparent that we've outgrown this building. We've built fourth floors, we've built buildings at the back, but we can't do any more. Currently the college is split over two locations. So there's the main college at Belgrave Square and then there's Standon House, which is where I work, and that houses the CCQI and also NCCMH. Personally, uh, I never think it's good to have a split family and we had half the staff from the activities in one side of London and the rest in 17 Belgrave Square. And I think when a family lives together it can function better. The building, whilst it's uh, very grand and has a, a lot of history, it's, um, it's not really been suitable for, for some of the things we've been trying to do. For example, with our committee, we've found that um, small group working makes us a, a lot more efficient, but the rooms just aren't set up for that. Um, they have tables you can't move, and it's made some of the things that we've been trying to achieve uh, a bit tricky. The current council room with its chandeliers and grandeur would be wonderful for a wedding, but for a council where it's serious business, we all sit round tables, very crammed in. We can't even see each other, some of us have our backs to each other, and therefore we want a room that's airy, light, spacey, where we conduct our important business. This is a beautiful building, and we're very privileged to be, to be working in such surroundings. But if you look around the building, you'll see that the isn't a sufficient library for an academic organisation. There aren't meeting rooms with modern facilities, video conferencing, teleconferencing. Just not fit for purpose. It isn't saying what psychiatry should be saying, what we should be saying for the profession. As chair of the PCC, I meet a, a lot of trainees. I also speak to our reps who, who meet lots of trainees. And they say it feels old fashioned, fusty something they don't really feel a part of quite often. The college, for most of the members, is something that they pay membership fees to. They don't ever step foot in the building in Belgrave Square. It's a small building, training events and educational events don't happen here, so they have no reason to do so. And I think for that reason, they're often not aware of all the important work that goes on here, improving standards and campaigning for people with mental illness, and basically making the world a better place for them, and ensuring that we as psychiatrists um, are better practitioners. It was a big decision to move. We thought about it very, very carefully. We looked at lots of buildings, further to the centre of London, but they were unaffordable. We found Prescott Street very affordable. We had enough money left over to refurbish it, and we could see immediately that it offered the potential of a fantastic headquarters. We had a very tight timescale between buying the building and then moving in. If I say that we had 60 workmen working on site seven days a week, in order to achieve our time skill, you get some idea of what was involved. It was a very exciting time. We were very careful to not to discard everything that was old. Very tempting to do that. And we picked some of the pieces in Belgrave Square that we thought would work in a modern environment. So our beautiful grandfather clock, 
some of our tables, some of our old antique tables. The council room chairs with the college crests are scattered about. I think we got it about right. There was a tremendous atmosphere on the day that we moved in, October the 7th, a real buzz in the building. I think staff were blown away by the reception, but also I think by the offices. We'd taken a lot of care to make sure that the offices were provided an attractive environment to work in. I think when we first visited, when the college first got the keys, uh, it was quite hard to imagine how it was going to work and how we were going to be able to move into it and it was going to be um, as impressive as everyone said it was going to be, but um, they've done a really fantastic job. It's been really good over the first few days and weeks of the new college being open to see how the members have started to pop in, just popping their heads around, not sure whether to walk in, but then being warmly welcomed by the staff into the members area. And actually they're sitting there uh, and they're staying there for ages and they're using the library and they're having small meetings there and they're chatting uh, and the whole thing is really working as I'd hoped it would. Now we're together in one building, you can see all the staff working together and it's much more effective. The building does help I think people to get to know each other. We're all together, we're all understanding more about all the different parts of the college and all the different work that we do and I think that can only really make the college work better. We want to get more and more members involved in the activities of the college and we think that in Prescott Street we're going to be able to do this. Because we've got 21 meeting rooms, this has you know, obviously increased the, the amount of meetings that we can have, the number of evening meetings we can have. We can bring people in for film nights. Uh, there are all kinds of different activities for members that we can carry out here which we could never have done in the past. It's a fantastic space and it's kind of designed really for trainees to, to make use of, particularly this lovely kind of open spacious members type area and the canteen downstairs. One of the college's key roles is to, to look at recruitment and having a, a good functioning college building where we can hold events, lectures, talks, things to get people excited about psychiatry and also just to find out more, to see if they, they are interested in psychiatry, um, that's really important and I think that's something that this building will allow us to do. We're very keen that this new family home becomes the hub for mental health locally, regionally, nationally and internationally. And it was great, just a coincidence, on the first day that we opened, we had a visit from New Zealand. We had our chair of our international division, so he was the first person, the first member to cross over the threshold. So we want to be a real hub for mental health, to show that mental health has a voice and that we've landed and we intend to make a difference. As trainees, we're obviously the next generation of psychiatrists. It's really important that we have a building and a hub which is, I guess, fit for purpose for, for the future and for the 21st century. And I think this building does give us that opportunity and it's going to be a really exciting place for us all to work. We'll always have fond reminiscences of 17 Belgrave Square because it was there that, that the early presidents and their council managed to get us the charter and we became a Royal College we managed to make our place in medicine, we managed to have an impact, but the time has now come for change and in this move, if we can do half as well as those early psychiatrists did in our new family home, then we will make a real difference and be the voice for mental health across medicine.